out began for some reason plugging in the one heater I've got left and the battery charger would make a bit of difference we're back down into the negative 30s negative 40 again and it's really weird just a couple days ago it was just like it was just 10 degrees out like three or four days ago I think I'll have to see if I took any video, but now it's freezing again, and a lot going on. <laughs> Poor truck, sounds terrible. Hoping it lasts a couple of days for me. Doesn't burn too much oil. You know, actually, I'm a little amazed with it because uh, I haven't had to refill it since I went romping in the uh, over by the airport. I haven't had to mess with the oil at all. I'm a little shocked at that. And it's still keeping its pressure up, so that's pretty good. Four by four has been working flawlessly. That's been really nice. Don't ask me how I'm only wearing one jacket out in this. Honestly, I couldn't even begin to tell you. It's really warm in here. <laughs> I got a couple of things I need to grab from upstairs, but you guys don't even know about this place, do you? <laughs> it doesn't matter. I'm not going to be here very long. It doesn't seem like. Yeah, so just wanted to throw an update on the truck. I'm not sure what the uh, actual outside temperature is because the uh, weather station up here it died as soon as the temperature got down to like negative 10, so I don't know what that's all about, if it can't handle temperatures lower than that or what, but. Yep, that's what things are up for sure. Yeah, that's it, I can't talk right. That's what things are up to right now, so. Talk to you later. Cool wheel drive, working great. It is four o'clock in the afternoon. And I wasn't too far off. It's, oops, I gotta get off. It is negative 29. Oh, you know, I don't think I ever showed you guys what the roads look like these days. But you can see in front of me, basic solid glaze of ice. Well, that's how pretty much every single road here in Fairbanks is right now, literally. Like, you will not get anywhere without either really good tires or four-wheel drive. That's just how it is, seriously. And keep your distance. <laughs> I'm being bad and not paying attention to what I'm doing. But keep your distance from the people in front of you, because if you don't have good tires or you start sliding, you're not going to stop sliding. And you'll just cream the guy right in front of you. So I'm gonna put the camera down and I'm gonna pay attention to what I'm doing because yeah, just it's just not a good idea to be doing what I'm doing. And well yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm out of here. Well, once again, we are here for a gas mileage check. <laughs> down at the west side Fred Meyer this time. And it's so cold, the L C D is barely displaying anything. <laughs> Negative 31 at some one sign, negative 29 at the UAF sign, negative 37 down the road quite a ways, down by uh, Valley Value Village. 
Um, so I don't know what to believe. All I know is it's just freaking cold. <laughs> ah! And it's making, ah, oh, about freaking time you stop. Make it 67. No! Ah, dang it. Let's try for 68. <laughs> Ah, there we go. That'll work. <laughs> Nineteen two seventy at three fifty two. Well, for me it's three fifty two, but three fifty five a thousand um, receipt. Yeah, what the heck? I'll actually print me a receipt this time. <laughs> I keep forgetting. If I just go and go on the numbers on my video, you know. So anyway, yeah. Let me check what my mileage is right now. I'm expecting probably less than 192. <laughs> In fact, I think it's right around that area. Oh, oh, 194. <laughs> you be quiet. 194. <laughs> so we're still doing a little more than 10 miles per gallon. In fact, I... <laughs> that is sad, okay? And I'm gonna have to put fuel line antifreeze right into this thing because it ain't gonna run. Not for long anyway. In fact, I think I'll just do that right here. If they actually got it out here. I don't even have to go inside. May as well. Yep, we'll do that. And I'm gonna take off. Yeah, so I'm not gonna bother putting in the fuel line antifreeze until it actually starts lugging down like it inevitably will. <laughs> Mileage, 158735. 000, what used to be 194, we'll just say 195. We round up around this place. I'm not gonna write it down because I don't have a pen. <laughs> so that's not gonna work out very well. But anyway, it's back up to my home for me whatever I can call home anyway, you know. <laughs> what is home? <laughs> Dude. God. Racing the Flamage parking lot like it's the Indy freaking 500. No matter, there's like lower hundred people in this. Uh -oh. I'm being called. I'll get back to you in a bit. <laughs> well, it certainly didn't take very long. I'm already feeling the effects of the fuel line freezing and the truck not going. <laughs> oh, my poor truck. I'm gonna have to pull off the road and put the antifreeze in it because it ain't gonna make it up this hill if I don't. God, this is sad. <laughs> so sad. Uh, jerky, 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 jerky. Uh, uh. All right, all right, all right already. Whoa! Not get crazy here. <laughs> ah, blinker, flasher thingies. All right, let's fill her up. All right, <clears throat> we should be able to full steam ahead on this sucker now. Well, once the transmission slows down, enough. All right. Traffic is clear. Let's do this.
Okay, I'm not really sure how believable this is, but that's freaking cold. <laughs> All my time up here, like the coldest I've seen is negative 41 on the UAF sign, and that was back in December. If it's negative 51 now, that's insane. Anyway, um. I just woke up a couple minutes ago, and you can't really see anything, <laughs> but it's a mini disc player. It came with this apartment, <laughs> and I claim it. It's coming with me. When I leave here, go back down south, it's coming with me, because I've always wanted a mini disc player. I know they're like completely useless and <laughs> out of date. And proprietary to Sony because they never really picked up or anything but I still like it anyway you can't really see anything like the city or anything because it's shrouded in fog in fact can't even see UAF over there because of the fog <laughs> that's pretty bad Anyway, yep, I just wanted to throw that temperature update at you. I don't currently believe it, but maybe I can throw a thermometer outside and find out for myself. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Now I get to watch the mercury drop at high speed. <laughs> I decided to go ahead and throw the thermometer that's hanging in my room here. And, yeah, as you can see... <laughs> It is dropping pretty quick. Pretty awesome to watch, really. If I wasn't watching through a screen. Window screen, of course, but... Either way. We'll see if it gets down to here. <laughs> and I'll let you know. <laughs> yep. It is... There we go. <laughs> oh, maybe it's coming up a little bit. That's freaking cold, okay? <laughs> yeah. And you can actually kind of see my location now. <laughs> MD player, 4.1 surround sound, speaker set, I got one over there, I got one over there. All left with the apartment. All of which I'm keeping. And it's gonna be awesome. I am forgetting what I was going to show. Oh, okay. The temperature came up two whole degrees on this particular thing. There we go. <laughs> anyway, that's all for now. I think. We'll see. Well, Monday morning, 427, 44 degrees, <laughs> I wish it was 44 degrees, negative 44, and we're about to find out if I'm going to have a truck to drive. <laughs> this should be an interesting startup, and then we'll drop down at the university and find out, whoa. <sighs> Door of ice. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that looks interesting. Get my lighter still on. Good, it is. I'm a little surprised at that. I managed to stay on. Well, at least I can rely on having a battery because <laughs> of that charger I've got in there. But, oh, clutch pedals hard as hell. All right, 
Alternate is over 14. <laughs> that charger rocks. <laughs> All right, let's get this sucker started up. in <laughs> ow <laughs> all right so we'll have a truck to drive <laughs> no matter how much oil is probably burning out from underneath it right now <laughs> poor thing just sounds terrible I can actually smell the metal to metal grinding. <laughs> it's kind of scary to be honest with you. It's pretty bad. It's just, oh crap, I gotta get the tire pump on it too. Oh man, I almost forget that. <laughs> oh, that would have sucked. <laughs> trying to kill me. Much like the smoke. <laughs> Dang! You need to stop smoking so much, it's not good for you. I'm hoping I got that tire pump on the valve stem properly. <laughs> Because I could not see what I was doing. Yeah, that thing sounds terrible. All right, time to go finish up what I was doing. All right, so somewhere between five and ten minutes later, sounding a lot better. Like it's actually firing on all cylinders right now. It rarely ever does sound like it is anymore, but I'm sure it probably is this really really bad compression because of the cold you can still sort of hear that grinding um, bearing sound but it's not nearly as bad as it was and the sound count coming out of the exhaust sounds a lot more healthy for an engine you know and I'm trying to plug this thing in upside down. That's why it's taking so long. Woohoo! All right, so. I just slammed it up into the side of the bed. That's better. I have it hanging over the side. I'm not losing the cable. All right. Lights on. Everything looks good. I think we're actually ready to go. And hopefully, okay, my steering seems to be working all right. Oh, my clutch is going to be fun. But it seems to be working too. Hello. Don't die on me, truck. again kind of slowly because this truck just does not respond the same way when it's cold as when it does when it, as it does when it's warm Ugh. and I have square tire syndrome <laughs> whole truck is bouncing every single tire revolution <laughs> uh, the things you get to experience living in Fairbanks the things that some of you would say I'm completely insane for wanting to experience. Uh, this is freaking retarded. <laughs> uh, 
and my clutch pedal is not functioning. <laughs> okay, I need to put the camera down because it's just too distracting. Goodbye. Okay, so we know that the sign held up. Negative 40 and 41 are identical to negative 40 and 41 Fahrenheit and Celsius. Oh man. That is officially the coldest I've seen that sign. <laughs> and I'm way zoomed in. Like wow. And you know it's crazy because not even a week ago we were hanging around in the tens. Single digits, tens, maybe a couple negatives every now and then, but mostly we we're up to 15 and above. But wow, this cold snap just came out of nowhere. <laughs> Attack! <laughs> and suddenly we're plunged into negative 40s. <laughs> and overnight in North Pole, we're talking negative 50. It's like, I'm so glad I don't live that far east. <laughs> uh, we're on the far west side of. Fairbanks right? and check out check out the fog the ice fog pollution so, yeah it's back in full force you know and my battery keeps dying so like it's cutting me off again but yeah it's crazy well, let's see what happens when we get... well as expected the Alaska USA sign isn't working anymore <laughs> Because that's just how it gets in the cold. It doesn't show temperature anymore. It just tells you what time it is. Time for me to go get into my parking spot. The one across the street, however, yeah, that's actually the coldest I've ever seen that sign, too. 4.54 in the morning. We'll see what we get up to. Screw it, I don't need a seatbelt to go 50 feet to go get in my parking spot. Yeah, this... Where does this come from? <laughs> Seriously. This fog. This cold. It's incredible and insane at the same time. That'll be how I park. And now, we wait for management to show up again. Goodbye. Man, this is just wrong. I can't see across the street to Walmart, much less the temperature signs over there. And now, my truck is contributing to the ice fog and being disgusting the whole time. Yeah. Pumping up a tire, warm her up, burn all the oil she wants to, because <laughs> she will. I don't like this air and I want to get back up to that apartment because that apartment up there is actually out of this ice fog. The cabin, it wasn't. No, well, it was to a degree, but not nearly to the degree as that apartment is. My face is freezing, so I am, my apologies for not being able to speak properly, all right? Anyway, yeah. I'm waiting for this thing to get done so I can get out of here. Maybe warm up a little bit. Ah. I wish I knew where these cold snaps came from. I do, I really do. <laughs> Throttle sticking again. Just beautiful. Of me and these roads 
are so icy that if I do see someone and they happen to be stopped, I ain't stopping. You know? This is crazy. I can't even see headlights and I'm keeping, like, I'm keeping my brights on and I don't even care if someone flashes me about them because that's the only way people are going to see me coming. You know? <laughs> you don't have your lights on, you're screwed. And it's sad because I still see people that don't have their headlights on. And see, like, I see, I see taillights, brake lights up here. Oh man, this is insane. I'm not gonna do this whole camera thing. Okay, you, you hear that? That was my tires. <laughs> I'm gonna get around on this side because I didn't realize that 